you. And thanks, A Sweat Life. As you guys know, the best. So I just want to represent and how you make me feel after leaving your events. I hope everyone can feel just a sense of accomplishment or just feeling better in their closet. So tomorrow morning, you'll start fresh or even tonight, putting on even a new pair of pajamas or something. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, I've got my computer here. So I wanted to go through too, I guess, can you guys see okay? If I'm on speaker view, it might be Okay, so I've got, yeah, there we go. I've got my closet and some other things here. I, um, yeah, so I've been a stylist and I was thinking of all of these clients knowing that there's so many of you out there. So what would be the best way to approach this? And we're just gonna go from how I work with clients um, with a style profile. So I always start with a style profile and that's the digging deeper part of the segment to see what's in your closet when you look at it, how daunting sometimes it can be, but also taking a new, um, like having a new look on it. So knowing your style. So I don't know how many, I know you've mentioned leggings and just having, you know, your look, but seeing is it bohemian is it classic has it changed from you know your younger years so taking it that way and i always ask so i'm taking notes so if you've got even you're on your computer just take notes and think like what what is your style is it more classic is it um like i said like feminine or edgy or even classic with edge it's just sometimes nice to have that idea so when you're putting things together picking out an outfit you have a better idea of what to grab and then um I always ask this and people get humble about it, but four words to describe your style. So, or describe yourself. So is it um, kind, loyal? And it seems funny to say that, but it also helps again, when you're in your closet, I want to emulate this style. So what does that look like with a word? Like, oh, I'm, you know, a lot of ones I hear that are kind, funny, and it's just fun for you to love on yourself for a little bit and see what words you are and what you want to emulate to the world. And then another one, just to sort of discover your style a little bit, is what celebrity do you love? What style are you love? You know, I hear Kate Middleton if you're the preppy look or, um, I don't know, Olivia Palermo. There's just whomever you're thinking, just, or a coworker that always looks polished. Who is that person that you like their style and sometimes you don't even need to have a person sometimes you just want to look you and wear you know the fun belt and that's your look um but most important i would say most importantly is how to show off your shape um sometimes you do just feel like wearing you know more of a shift dress but what is this shape that accentuates what you love like you're working out hard with the sweat life and you know you've got great legs do you want to show off your legs or your toned arms or what is that piece you know, when you're purchasing or when you're looking in your closet that you can show off what you've worked hard um, to show off. So I even say if you're, you know, around town and somebody compliments you, oh my gosh, that looks great. Or a couple people note that, oh, that style looks really good on me. The A-line skirt I was wearing and a bunch of people said how good it looked. So I always say take note because people won't just compliment for the fun of it, you know, if they really feel that way. So take note of that. And then right now, since a lot of you, you said you are in your closet, I always ask, what are five, do you have five pieces? I hope you do, that you absolutely love. Um, so go right now or show me one or two that you are just like, this one makes me feel so good. I know the KonMari was big and if it brings you joy, so that too, but is there a skirt in there? I can show you, I pulled out mine because, just to give you an idea. So these overalls, they're so old from Zara love them. Um, I can wear them. I've worn them to concerts before, but then also with sneakers. So is there a piece um, that you absolutely adore? You know, even having like this one, when I was not in the United States, I got to wear it with a bra and felt really sassy. But then normally when I'm always wearing it is with a tank underneath. Um, like just vintage stuff, like favorite, favorite, favorite from my grandma. Love it. Um, just a cool piece that I'm like, I'm going to seize the day in these fun pieces. And then like Madewell makes the best. I don't know if anybody on there had said romper. It's just so cotton. So if you want to get out of leggings, I highly recommend. It's like a, almost like pajamas, um, but it feels cute. So having those pieces or even, you know, if you've got the two, but I always say just how you feel in them and not every day you're going to feel like you're going to the prom or something like that, but just feeling really good in a couple pieces. And then I'll show you too how 
you can maybe wear them a little bit differently. Um, I've got my list up here because I don't want to forget anything, even though I um, just, yeah. So on that note of, is there a sock, socks or a robe that you feel really good in? Some people, it might not be, you know, the prom dress or, um, you know, going out clothing. Did somebody say yes? So it could be the socks, the robe. My great grandma always told me if you feel good on underneath, you feel pretty on the outside. So she always taught me to buy a good bra and underwear. So I've always loved that. Even if no one sees it, you've got something pretty underneath. And I think there's something to be said about that. Just sassy and you know it's there. Um, so yeah, a grandma bra, I had that as my notes. Um, but yeah, it is about a feeling. And so I didn't get into therapy or styling for a long time because I thought it was materialistic. And so finally, I'm like, wait a second, I'm going to plunge into what I love because if you feel pretty on the outside, it internalizes. So that's what I hope with this, like just putting on something fun, um, even though you get to stay in your home and no one gets to see it yet. Um, so then the decluttering part is I'd say is such a big piece. So I was going to ask, since you're in there, if you want to go, this is like my challenge for you right now. Could you go through, go through your shoes, pick out one pair of shoes that you are ready to toss if they can't be re-sold, uh, because I do believe in repurposing everything and I'll, I'll get to that, but take a pair of shoes. Do you have like an old bra to get rid of? Um, I was going through before I hopped on and I, some of you had talked about pieces that just don't fit and hanging on to things and it just doesn't make you feel good. So I saved these, I'm like, I have to show you, love these pants, they haven't fit, they probably won't ever. And so it's just like paying it forward and donating. So go through, like, is there a jacket um, that doesn't fit? Is there a shirt that's stained? So each piece, if you have a dress, um, um, I hang on to a lot of things a long time just because I try to get different purposes out of them. but. If there's a pair of pants, a top, that could be a going out blouse, um, even a workout top, maybe take one out, start a pile, and it could be donation or um, there's a place called Wings. They even take, if they're stained, not to throw them away, they'll take them by the pound and measure them or weigh them and they make money that way. So I'm happy if those of you in Chicago, you can message, I can pick up and take to Wings for you. So if you, I don't know if you're having trouble picking a piece or if you, Needle jeans are the best. Um, what else? Blouse, dress. Are there pajama bottoms you are tired of? Because a lot of the dilemmas I read were we have so much. We just can't decide what to get rid of. So on that note, too, I uh, laughed because I read about this, and I think it's true. If you get a gift as something, you feel like you have to hang on to it. And I'm giving you permission now, if you're going through anything, to get rid of, even if you're mother gave you something and you're ready to toss it. Um, need new pajamas. See, I love that because it is something that makes you feel good even if it's not being seen by everyone. Um, so jackets, I can see if you guys, I'm trying to see everyone to see if you've got your piece. Hold it up if you're on camera. Um, even socks, I don't know if your washing machine eats your socks too, but if there's a bunch of mismatch, go through those. And this is just like the surface of the decluttering. But if you need more time, I would love to give you that. But also just to show you how normally I'm there to say, hey, okay, let's toss that or let's find a way to wear it. So if there is a piece that you are discovering as you're digging back in your drawer or saying, hey, you know, this is summer stuff. I'll move it to the front. Kind of now is the time you can work on that. Um, in terms of getting rid of stuff, like I said, I just like puffy sleeved, it's in, it's not my style. So there's things too, I'm working with you to just put in the donation pile. Um, it's nice to give it a new home as well. So that feels, that feels nice. Um, not my style. And then the grab one challenge, I call it. I usually would say way more than that, but we can start someplace. Um, I'll take that blazer off your hands. Okay, okay, I've got it. <laughs> um, I know, because that's what I love. We did the um, event together and it was so fun to swap. So once this is over, seriously, it would be great to just, I love giving things away and passing it along. It can tell a new story and all of that. So I've got it saved for you. Um, and then on 
repurposing. That is, like I said, one of my most favorite things. Um, and I've done that with, I do a lot of de-stressing things and de-stress your own denim and what you have in your closet, what you can make new. Um, so what I've done even, I've cut my own jeans. And I will tell you back to with accentuating your figure, um, right above the bone, right above the ankle bone is actually very flattering for nearly everyone. So if there's a pair of jeans, you know, that's a little boot cut, maybe even kind of short, doesn't fit totally well, I always recommend or at least fold them up um, to above the ankle line. It's just, it's great with sandals. It looks awesome with sneakers. Even if you did a heel, um, this, this is an easy and what's so good is since these are selling for so much, you can actually cut your own and it looks the exact same. Um, and if you wanted to keep going on the distressing, I should share, I didn't do the, I didn't grab this one, but I've done a cheese grater and distressed my denim here and on the back before. And it feels kind of fun because it's, you know, people compliment, you say, oh, I've done them myself. So um, that is something to do. And then repurposing, I always say lasers. I don't know, I've had it where my arms get too large and I have cut off um, the sleeves of the blazer. Um, so definitely finding a tailor, it's not even anything fancy, even if you didn't want to cut your jeans yourself, having the tailor just cut off the sleeves, then it's a sassy blazer. And something else I have in my dry clean pile, I hope this doesn't gross anybody out. I love this, it's Via Strozzi, it's a boutique on Halstead, and there's, there's pit stains. <laughs> and um, I love it though, when I get compliments, it's this long like shirt situation, and I'm going to have the tailor just cut off that piece. So it's going to be a little more of, you know, a racer type with things like that and thinking like, hey, if you're not wanting to purchase or you love the way something fits, maybe you don't have to get rid of it. Um, something I've done before with actually these pants. And I've had clients do, if they're too tight around the waist, uh, the tailor can put in like a V piece of material. So if something's like just your weight's shifted and they, it doesn't fit the way it used to. If it's a skirt or dress pants, you can actually have a piece of fabric put into the waist of a pant. And that's something you don't have to, you know, if it fits the same in the thighs, that's something that <coughs> gives you a new, bless you, it gives you a new, a new take. Because I'm all about just seeing it differently. Even something I've done is a cardigan. I've turned it backwards. As long as the tag isn't there, it actually looks really cool. It's like just a regular cardigan, you know, sweater. And same with if you can button a cardigan the whole way, it just looks like a shirt instead of the open, open cardigan. So I love having um, just different ways to wear a piece that you might have. The biggest I'd say is the pant, even for dress pants too, getting them tailored to more of that Audrey Hepburn straight cut look is really nice. Um, Annie, there's been a couple of questions for you about, um, so the jeans, what if the legs are already distressed but too long? Is it okay to just cut them shorter? I would, absolutely. And so I cut one and then I, I make sure, because some jeans I wouldn't measure because some jeans are different lengths. So you get it exactly cut one and then pair it to the other. But if you cut it yourself and then throw them in the wash, they'll get a hem and it won't keep fraying up it'll just get it to where you kind of like it. So it's safe to cut yourself, absolutely. And I just use wrapping paper scissors. I don't even have the fabric scissors for this. Um, so that's totally fine. Just cut them and tie them. And then, yeah, lots of questions about like just t-shirts and you kind of talked about it, but like boxier t-shirts or like how to change it up with like t-shirts that either need to be cut or maybe tied. I'll take the blazer off again. Okay, got that. I'm delayed here. Okay, t-shirts. Um, the boxy tees. Yes, I, that kind of look is something. I, when they're super boxy, like this one, super boxy. Oh, it's cute too, with the, what it says. Um, you tuck in the side, so then it won't, it'll have this angle here that's just way more flattering than just being boxy and hitting you at the hips. So I always say this, no matter, even if it's a shirt like this, um, just you tuck it on the side. There's even like the, I can do it here, um, the twist where you can twist it. 
and then tuck and it'll stay. So you could either cut it that way where it's more, you know, angled there or on the side and just the illusions more of the angle not hitting you at a spot on your hip. So that's always my recommendation with the boxy because boxy's really in. And if it's not cropped to show your hips, this, um, it does just look wide and wide. So that's, I hope that's helpful with that. Or tie it, yes. Um, you can tie it or do the, the little twist. Um, and then, yes. And if you're a faster reader, I wanna make sure. I have, yeah, I think most of them were about the, the, I think you got them all. I think this new one that came in though, uh, what about clothes we love but don't fit right anymore? Keep for motivation or talk? I know, I know. And I go back and forth because just the therapist in me that has worked with, you know, eating disorders and feeling just that anxiety ourselves. It's, uh, I just know whenever I hang on to something, it doesn't feel great as I toss it. Um, if it's a piece you know, you'd like to hang on to because it's so cool that, you know, maybe to pass along to a family member, I would say that is, that's okay. Um, but I usually recommend if you haven't been that size or you just don't, the, that time you were a smaller size or you bought it on sale and it's never been your size, it's good to um, just let it go. I think that's a long-winded question of letting it go. And it's hard because it might be so cool, but there's so many awesome clothes out there, whether they be vintage or from a store that you'll be able to find something, something else. Um, but it is hard with the range of sizing. It's like my weight fluctuates. And if that's normal for you, I would say, hang on to the pieces. If you're, you know, fluctuating due to health reasons or whatever, um, maybe, but if that's pretty standard for you, maybe stick with that. So you're not constantly buying new things. Um, didn't get the blazer tip. Um, oh, with the cutting off the sleeves, I was saying that's a fun way because you could throw that over a dress or wear it over a blouse for work or just fun with jeans and a tank top. Um, gifts, something's passed down. I know, pass it on. Um, I just, I feel better. I had someone say, hey, if someone else can use it, that's been my um, easy way to say, you know, it can have a new home someplace else, whether someone you know or like I said, wings, it can just have a new new home. And it, then it just takes the stress. You don't feel like you have to wear it, even if you don't feel great in it. And I do recommend if there's a piece you're just meh, the next time you put it on, if it feels that way in the mirror, you can put it in the bag of, okay, I'm gonna donate it and then see how you feel for a day. But if that's the way it makes you feel, I'm, it's better to have a more of a capsule, smaller wardrobe with um, less things in it than to have the, Eh, it's okay. And I understand you've got to keep things in there for, you know, weekends or just if you're gardening or whatever, you know, have some bum around stuff, but it's, you've got a whole week to wash it. So you don't need a million of those things. Um, on the sleeve and it's expensive to fix. Maybe I can try. Yeah. I, I think that would be awesome. And keep the questions coming because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, Yes, the new with tags, although they haven't gotten back in a while, I've done thread up depending on the design, the designer. So thread up uh, takes your clothing, they send a bag, they make it so easy. Um, but if it's a pricier item, you could do um, North Shore Exchange is good. It's not for profit, and so they're awesome. But they, um, I think they take J. Crew and above. Um, I hope they still take your crew. Um, but mostly thread up's really good. I'd say you get pretty good money on on there. And now thread up is in um, department stores, so you'll have more um, ways to sell it. And then, yes. Yeah. So, any other? I think you're caught up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> With t-shirts, I um, I know there's different ways, because even cutting them, I don't know if you guys like to work out in the sleeveless shirts, like if there's a couple good, you know those t-shirts that are so soft, if there's a couple good soft t-shirts, cut them, I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel kind of sassy wearing like the open cut where you can see your cool bra, so maybe do that, but I think with clients, the biggest like skeleton is usually they're like, no, let's not touch my workout t-shirts, there's so many, and it is, it's one of those like daunting things, so while I'm just like jabbering on, you guys can be looking through and say yay or nay, or this was, you know, an 
X's of something or, you know, that it serves zero purpose, you could toss. Um, and t-shirts too. It's like, how cute do you feel in those oversized t-shirts? Maybe just stick with one or two and save yourself the space, even if it means like you might have a blank shelf. You may have the space for more, but just cleaning it out that way. Um, yes, you could do that. Um, the rags is a great idea. It's so good for um, windows and that. So I think that's, I mean, repurposing is so key right now. Um, would you recommend certain staples? Um, yes, I actually have all my favorite staples if we want to do that. And then I'll show you um, some other things. So the staples can be good too for um, the stepping up. So if you are, you know, still wanting to stay in leggings and just be comfortable right now, these pieces are still like staples because they're supposed to be for any style. So a black jean, I always say, is so good because you can dress it up. Um, even like I, I recommend like more of a cropped, but if you want a full length, totally great. Um, so a black jean because it can be dressed up or down. And usually black lately, all that are sold that I've found in stores have stretch in them. So it's not like they're, you know, not comfortable. They're definitely not a legging, but they have stretch in them, which is great. Um, I always recommend a cropped black pant, but if that isn't your life, like if you don't ever need to wear a cropped black pant, then maybe that could be on the back burner. Um, a jean jacket, because they can be fun buttoned to the top. Um, and just it goes with anything in the summer. It gets a little chilly throwing that on. I love to say a bomber jacket. Um, again, this doesn't feel appropriate for right now and what we're in the house wearing, um, but down, you know, maybe for fall or end of summer, that would be good, or they might even be on mega sale right now. Um, a white silk blouse, or it doesn't have to be silk, but a white button down, some white shirt that you can throw on and make it dressy with a necklace or just throw it on over leggings <laughs> on a scarf. I'm going to take a break from Ali. You what? <laughs> oh, and then... Um, Wanting and on the action. Um, jean jacket, I always recommend, I don't know um, how big you guys are in accessories, but necklaces are so such a game changer. So throwing something on, even with its t-shirt and sweatpants, it just looks, oh, that polished look that clients always ask, like, how do I look put together? That or um, a scarf that I can show you different ways. So even, you know, a headscarf can change up something, like having that flair having it around your neck or um, around your waist. Um, yes, I do do it by color. I don't know if you can see, because my dresses are all different. Um, but I do shirts by color, so I do grays and all shirts, even if they're, um, I do my dressy shirts. So it'll be like sleeveless, like not necessarily, because I don't know the last time I've gone out or will go out, but going out type dressier shirts, button down shirts, put those in a pile or in a color. Jackets, I put in a color. Jeans, I actually put if they're wide leg or if they're a, a slender leg. I don't know if you can. Um, lots of pajamas <laughs> in the pajama game. And then just pants, I even do by color. So darks and then like a lighter color. It just, it really helps. Um, it feels clean. Um, and I have, I'll send you the link of on the putting it all back together. I love the hangers, um, the felt black hangers. They just, especially if you're short on space, it definitely makes things nice and clean. Unless, I don't know if you guys have a grandma that makes these guys. So I have a couple of those, which are awesome. Um, so that's my exception, but those are really fun. And then I want to make sure if I, um, remember, uh, Annie, I have, a, I have a question while you're reading. Um, yes. You found that boxy t-shirt that you were thinking about like that. Do you have a system for arranging your t-shirts? Because I have, oh. it took me half an hour to find this black v-neck today. Okay, I do. So I know these are the tips that it's just like, it's, you know, I don't want to skim by if they can really be helpful. So I do actually have, um, I don't know if this sounds silly, but I have like the nicer t nicer t-shirts. So the crew neck, you know, solid colors or stripes. So solid ones that are a little dressier. And then I have my workout shirts. So that's how the t-shirts, and those are by color too. I try to keep white, gray, black, and then the stripes. So those are ones that are, I guess, fancier. So if we're talking about stepping up for home, opt for those, save the other shirts for the workout. Um, 
but that's a great question. Yes, I shouldn't just assume that it's like easy breezy. I do the same. Another drawer that's always messy you reminded me for clients are tank tops drawers. Those are usually just a disaster. And it's easy, just fold them. Um, I don't know if you guys do the KonMari. Some people roll. I actually just fold them up in a stack and um, keep them organized that way by color. And then those are something too that are easy to be replaced. Like Gap will have ribbed tanks on sale all the time and those just can get nubby and you just don't want to have, you know, nubby on when you can choose something that's not. Um, do you have dresser drawers? I do and that's where, that was one of the questions um, about how to fold sweaters. And it was, how do you not get them wrinkly? So I never hang my sweaters. I actually fold them. I can, um, if you come with me here, um, and my rolling rack. So I fold my sweaters. I don't know if you can see this. So it's kind of dark, but I fold those by colors and I just fold them together and then put it in a roll and they just, they don't get wrinkly. So that's, that's my go-to. Some people put them over the hanger but then they get, you don't wear them, and then they've got this mark that usually sometimes can't even be um, taken out by the time you wear them for winter. Um, so that's what goes in my dresser drawers along with my jewelry because I'm obsessed. I had a great grandma that gave me a bunch of jewelry, and so I put a lot of that in there. Um, and then under store, did you have under bed? That's um, also with one, I don't know if you guys have risers or higher beds. But they make now, you can get Ikea or wear even online, they're wooden to match the color of your bed and they're on wheels and it goes under, I can show you here, um, shoes there. So I, um, I keep boots on one side. I don't share with anybody my space. My husband's like, where am I supposed to put my clothes? So I have my boots on one side and then shoes on one side. Um, but it makes it easy. It's like there's the shoes and you have them laid out. So that, I think that was maybe $34, something that makes me feel organized because there was a question in there about shoes. So if you have the option, even with carpet, the wheels work. Um, and it's just kind of nice to have them underneath if you don't want them in your closet. Um, I think there's a question about just, are, are like donation centers still open that you can <laughs> donate to? Um, the guy that I work with at Wings who picks up from my house, he said he would be willing to. Um, and I had said, you know, if you wanted to give, if anyone wants to give their address where you could just set it outside, we're not even interacting. I could wear gloves if you're in Chicago, of course, but um, they are there and there's just no interaction. Some people are just setting it on the side, but I know the people are still in need, if not more, you know, with jobs and who knows, you know, what people are in need of, but I'm assuming definite stuff and we have good stuff to give. And like I said, even if it's the stained stuff, they weigh it by the pound and they made, made over um, $200,000, I think. Um, sorry about that. Um, from weighted um, stained clothing, but it was just like the cloth. So if you don't make rags out of them, they, they'll get money. Um, Whole Foods garages, yeah. Um, any other, I was going to say, what else am I meant? The step up, key pieces. Um, I'm trying to think of a funny story I do have that's embarrassing, but it's just, I always love stripes and scarves. And I have um, a striped shirt, but I had a striped shirt and I'm at the airport and I had a, a scarf on tied and I order my whatever coffee and the woman says, all oh, right, airport discount. And I didn't know why I had an airport discount. But um, I was wearing all my favorite pieces and she gave me a discount because she thought I looked like a flight attendant. So it's funny to just own our style however we want to wear. You know, we dress for us anyway. It's not typical that we're dressing, you know, for someone else. We want to feel good. But that did make me think like, wait a second. Um, but I got a discount of coffee and I felt cute <laughs> even despite that. Um, dress for success, that's great. Um, what? What amount of time, Annie, do you, do you sort of consider, like, I'm never going to wear this again? Like, I have this thing, this romper. It's cute, but it's kind of, kind of like, y younger than I am now. Um, and I haven't been able to part with it, but I haven't worn it in two and a half years. Like, what, what's the, 
with that, I know I, I mean, my immediate reaction was like, oh, summer festival, you could throw that on with a sandal. But if you haven't done that in two summers, or maybe this will be, if it's something like that, that you are hanging on to so tightly, if you are going into that season, which you will be, then if you don't wear it, then I would say it's, it's had its day. Because there are those times it's like, I bet you wore it with a heel and looked really jazzy and all of that. But if you're ready, if you don't wear it at all this season, I think three years is, is good. And I usually don't, you know, I think it was Oprah that said, if you don't wear it for a year, get rid of it and turn your hanger if you've worn it. But sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but I get into something one season and I wear it to death and then it takes a break. And then the next year I was like, oh, that turtleneck, I, I loved it. So I think one year is fine if you're not wearing it, but the two year, if you didn't grab it at all, um, it's a good color. It'll be fun for summer, but if it's something like just feels not right, I would say someone else will love it. Well, it looks like it's taken now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, the front tuck. Yes. I feel like I'm going to just switch my shirt to show you guys. Cause I want to give the proper, proper way of, um, doing the front tuck. I'm going to go to my t-shirt pile, Jenna. <laughs> we Ooh, appreciate the modeling. You know, a live quick change. That's <laughs> <laughs> my uh, time lapse. Okay, this was too tight. Sorry, that one didn't work. Um, <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> Found something to get rid of. Practice what I preach. I didn't realize I grabbed a crop top. Okay, so this one. Okay, it's a little bit of a crop top. So this is the way. I'll pretend like the shirt's a little longer. Um, and then you do that. So it kind of angles, but a lot of shirts now are sold with that little nub. But I say, you know, you've got enough shirts, I'm sure, in there, ones that are wrinkly, um, that you can do this way. So I hope, does that help the tuck? So it's twist, twist. You don't have to do a rubber band like the 80s, but that, and then it, it stays if you've got a normal size shirt on. Um, front tuck. What is in the bin storage? Oh, um, yeah, so I have bras here. I love to line them up. I don't know if you guys have where your cup sizes fit. Um, I do socks, and these aren't even fancy bins. When we moved, I just had the same. And then um, uh, underwear. And then I have my bin with sports bras. So I keep sports bras separate than regular bras, and then socks and underwear that way. Um, and I had some links of these you can get in whatever color. So if you want to match that I can actually I can do that right now if you want the um, Link for Some of the shopping like hangers and such that I'll get to in a second um, And we can include it too in the thank you email. I'll just connect with you afterwards and I'll get everything out I'm doing a quick, Okay, I thought so I was like well if we're here and then, um, so step up, I don't know that I've helped out, but I want to show the outfits and that will give you ideas to step up. So you asked about the shirt. So I love doing this actually, when you asked about the striped shirt. So this, and especially with um, leggings, since everything comes a little mid-rise to high-rise, that gives you, it's just more flattering. It shows your legs start and go no matter your size, I think, because I have a longer torso, so I like to do the tie, and it makes my legs look longer. Um, I hope that helped, Paula. And then now I can show some of those, like, ideas you have, even though I'm not seeing what's in your closet, but I can show um, some different things. Like, yes, this is bedazzly. So even if you had a tank, um, you could do a t-shirt underneath with a necklace. So it doesn't have to be bedazzle, but just any kind of tank top that you have is a little boxier. You could do a tee underneath um, going into summer, or I sometimes do a button down or turtleneck, but throw it on with a necklace. And then I don't know how many are into uh, pattern mixing, but just something like this with even a legging could be really cute or jeans. So any just scarf and the pattern doesn't have to match, but anything with stripes is just kind of easy. Navy stripes, black and white. Um, Can you show us how to tie that scarf? Oh, yeah. Scarves scare me. Okay. 
So I know all sizes are different, so I'm so glad you asked. Um, this is how I do this one. Oh. So then that, and then if it's windy, I just do, um, and I never like anything to be symmetrical down the front, so I always like to do it to the side. But if you like it long, you just go backwards and then leave it up like this. This is kind of long, so I don't want to give the wrong impression that all scarves are this length. Um, but even the square ones always seem difficult. So I like making scarf in your face there. Um, a belt or rolling it like that. This got me the uh, flight attendant, so you can do it to the side here as well. So the scarf and then knot it. And I've even done through the waist. If they're long enough, you can just kind of cute through the waist and adds a little belt flare. And I don't know, are you guys, you can say in the chat, if anybody's gotten into like the baggy, like pajama-esque, but fun pants. Um, these seem to be a lot of places. I was gonna give the um, tuck tip because sometimes those just are not flattering. It's elastic waistband there around the whole side. So it's good to do the side tuck with any of these pants. So they seem to be in every store if they're not already in your closet. Um, just make sure you kind of do the side tuck so they don't look so um, wide around with the elastic band. Um, yes. Okay. Oh, good. I know. They're not really pajamas. They're, they're real pants, but they feel so, so luxurious and nice. Um, this was another tip for like after you've worked out. If you're wearing the shirt I'm always talking about with the cutoff, just throw like a denim shirt over even and a scarf. Um, just kind of makes it not like a jean jacket. You're kind of prepared if the Amazon guy shows up, you know, drop something at your box. There's something to wear there. Um, on the tying, so similar to what I'm wearing, like you could tie your denim shirt or any button down shirt, do it with your workout leggings or just like a cotton skirt that's stretchy. So the cute little midi skirt to wear. And I don't know if you guys even, a running sneaker, but like a white sneaker is really versatile to have with skirts or pants. I know someone had mentioned they um, are not able to wear heels, but there's a lot of platforms that are in right now, like platform sandals or even just, they're actually more comfortable because they're a little wider on the bottom. So I don't even think you have to wear heels to be sassy. You could have that platform and um, just feel comfortable. Like we're not about getting our feet hurt right now or feeling uncomfortable with a, a pointy, pointy heel. Um, how many T's? I mean, I guess it just varies. I feel like they have to be replaced. Maybe I'm wearing the wrong deodorant, but mine get um, stains in the armpits. So maybe you guys could give me a deodorant uh, tip. It's right because it's like the natural kind that doesn't, I don't know. Um, they're not flattering. Okay. Um, see, I think joggers are flattering because they've got that tight ankle and wear them with a sneaker or a cool sandal. But do that side tuck. I don't know why that seems to be the trick that works for everything. Just because it doesn't give your waist, it shows like a little bit more of a shape than just right around the waist. And if they're, I'm assuming they're um, elastic banded, a lot of those are. So that's a little more flattering. And pull them, pull them up. Don't have them sit low on your hips. Um, thank you. Okay. The pit stains are real. Um, yes, the Lululemons are flattering. I, I agree. Navy was a good, a good color. Let me show you also. I was going to say a tip I'd say if you wear colored pants, a lot of times clients say, I don't know what to wear to have it match. And a colored jean, I just pretend like is a regular jean. Don't think too hard about, oh, it's got to go with you know, have a little bit of green in it or khaki or whatever. Just do, pretend like they're just a regular jean and it actually just steps up your look and without even thinking too hard. Um, I know there was a couple about just feeling a little self-conscious and wearing something, you know, wild or fun. Um, and, oh, thank you. Uh, wild or fun, you know, if you feel like you're exposing too much with a tighter pant, I always like vests aren't hiding. They're like elongating and just kind of nice if you're not willing or ready to expose your whole 
body with tight jeans or um, leggings if you're still wanting to feel put together. So vests are just, I think they're, I love them because they just step up an outfit. And also um, you guys could actually do this with just a bigger scarf. Um, but a lot of these are popular. It's just a perfect square, but it's a poncho. So this too completes your look and there's nothing to it. Um, like throw on a necklace, but this could be done with a scarf too. Um, that's a little lighter weight for this season since we're hopefully going into summer. Um, yeah, thank you for the link. I'll keep going. Um, I mentioned like a white silk I even thought, you know, a white button down where it can be classic. If you button it to the top, it can be really preppy and um, like one with details. And again, please text or email or text me or anything. Um, if you've got, if you want ideas of, hey, where did you find X, Y, Z? Or where can I, or how can I do this or that? I'm so happy to help. Um, companies that sell fun jewelry. Yes. I can. I can help you. Yeah, I'm working right now with local artists or around the country, and they're very reasonably priced. Um, I will be happy to send you a link of jewelers. Um, Fabletica's life. And she's really great. I love Kate Hudson um, of Fabletic, so I think she's great. And then, yeah, I feel like I've talked really fast. I hope I've been helpful. If there's any more questions, um, with unique stuff. You know what I really like in Nas? It's a boutique. If you're in Chicago, they have a, a big price range. So smaller priced items, but then also um, higher dollar. But I get compliments every time I have to show you. I get compliments every time I wear. Like this was $88, which I think is good for a leather jacket, uh, something really different. So they sh they have fun stuff and not all of it's like so so wild but um it's a nod so i can put it in there um and i love my little local boutiques i hope they i hope they make it um so happy to share the love because the prices nothing feels better when you find something really cool and it's a great price and the quality is good um so there's uh let's see. Are there any looks that make you cringe? Um, right now are, um, I don't follow the runway. So I don't shop always what's trendy. It's like, what makes a client feel good? What's your style? Okay, great. You know, let's do the puff sleeves because you don't want anything tight, etc. The hot pants, those are apparently in style. They're like the size of my two-year-old daughter's pants, but you wear them out and about, I guess. They're called hot pants. Um, so that makes me cringe. Um, stop wearing. I think it's just hiding your figure. Like if you're wearing a bigger top and a bigger bottom, like show some shape. So it doesn't make me cringe, but it makes me sad that I'm thinking someone's trying to hide their body. Um, but sometimes I wear boxy things too, but having something where you can see a shape somewhere, whether it be your arms or um, yes, your waist or something. But that's a, that's a fun question. Um, biggest faux pas. I guess it's just wearing all designer stuff and not feeling like you know fashion. You just go to someone and say, here, pick this out. And I know it's hard to sometimes find your own look, but I hope if you guys even, like I said, had any questions along the way of, hey, I'm just not sure of what my style is um, or where I can go to find some, you know, cool things to try. And I, I usually recommend if you're trying a, a trend to not, you know, go really expensive just to give it a try. Um, so what's in right now? Well, everything like with the, the bigger voluminous sleeves. I know Cold Shoulder had their time a little bit. Um, and a client I just had yesterday, she's like, what should I do? I have all the Cold Shoulders. So of course they said, go to the tailor, let's take them off and make that the tank top. And it makes it kind of um, perfect. Um, no, because some are just basic. Some are just... Um, you got to have them, whether that be like a cami. Um, but I, I think it's a good question. If it doesn't make you feel good or it's not something of purpose, then yeah. And the question that. was, should it spark joy, right? The question. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah, I don't, I don't think it, um, every piece has to just because some are a necessity. But I do think like, I don't know how you guys feel in a good pair of jeans. You know, those should make you feel good um, if you put them on. 
like finding a good, and sometimes it's hard to find a, a good, good jean, but that should spark joy. Like I said, camis, um, if you're putting on your nightgown, you don't have to be, you know, doing a cartwheel after you've got it on. Maybe you could, but um, not ever. How do, how do you feel about all like the subscription models right now? Like, do you like any of them or do you like, is it not your jam? I, well, simply I've tried because I always try to try everything. I hired a stylist to come in my closet to see what it felt like, like the vulnerability of like, oh, I should toss that. Or, you know, I did want to see how that felt. I did the uh, Rent the Runway box to see what that was like. Um, and that's fun if you are seeing the same people all the time. That makes sense. And you want to change your pieces. Um, but Stitch Fix, I think it's just a matter of cost and if they can really get to know you. Um, I've had some clients that have done Stitch Fix and th there's pieces that are great and some that they said they missed the mark. But um, I think sometimes it's worth it's worth a try if you want something for yourself, but um, it's also nice to just invest in a nicer piece and have it feel you and not just hang on to it because you'll get charged the $20 um, if you don't return it. Um, long term, I'd say like the Moto jacket good um, for the recommended pieces. Oh, nice. I've not even heard of that one. Thanks. Um, so even, um, like I said, a white sneaker is really good to put, you don't have to spend a lot on, but just it can change a look into instant fun. Even if you're wearing something that feels a little stuffy coming from work, you throw on a sneaker, that looks great. Um, so that, I call it the workhorse pieces, the, the blazer, the black pants, like a jean, um, a nice like, darker wash jean because it can be dressed up and down. Um, the t-shirts are so nice to have, but that you don't have to spend a lot on those. Um, a black silk or white blouse, just having something that can be dressed up. You could make it edgy. You could also, you know, date night, friend night, um, work. So those are, um, and then of course I love accessories, um, so much. So scarves, um, investing in a scarf, which doesn't have to be crazy priced. Um, so whatever pattern you like, if you love paisley or stripes. Um, and then I'd say like a good earring, one with a little dangle, um, cause it can dress things up as well. Did I go too far? I'm like, I kept going. Uh, <laughs> I actually love mixing funky colors together. So like mustard yellow with pink. So to me, it's like kind of 70s. I think it's fun. So that'd be a tip when you're thinking like, how can I expand my wardrobe? Putting together some unexpected colors, things that you wouldn't normally see together, um, but pairing them. And I think one of the questions someone had was, how do I know what skin color you kind of know when you look at yourself, oh, this ivory washes me out. You could throw on a scarf to bring color to your face or put on a lip color. So that could bring a little more life if you've got a shirt that you want to keep. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, forever. <laughs> you never know when you need to. Um, yeah, if you have those are... <laughs> Sometimes when I'm in clients' clothes, I'm like, Helen costume or lingerie? I'm not sure. Um, we'll just keep it back there. Um, I think it's just fun. You never know, like the retro, unless it's so obscure, but I think if they're not taking up a ton of space, I don't know, wear it on Friday, maybe, uh, whichever one you love. <laughs> hey, and send us pictures. Because um, those are just, yeah, it's always the pits when you have to rebuy something like that that you've already spent money on. So hang on to it for, I'd say, a couple of years as we're trying to declutter. I'm going, I'm contradicting myself on that one. Um, anything else? Yeah, shirt ties, um, outfits. So yeah, mixing the color combos, um, putting on a pair of jeans tomorrow. And um, if you want, like cuff them, just make them feel a little different. Put a belt or scarf around the waist. Um, or even, you know, they don't, I know I was showing a bunch of patterns, but scarves can even be, they really can add depth to your outfit just by having like a plain one. Like it kind of completes it, even though this is just navy. So you don't have to always get the wild, wild ones. It does feel fun. One person said they didn't want to wear their boring clothes. They wanted to um, like wear their bright clothes. Then in that, that suggestion, I would say, then maybe 
start tossing some of the clothes that feel a little dull, then that's you. You want to wear the bright things that are, are super fun. Um, cute belts. I know. I usually find... I can, I can do some more hunting. I mean, anthropology always has just all sorts of, they've got the stretch kinds you could wear at your waist or your hips. I love the versatility of those. Um, so I guess um, anthropology is off the tip of my tongue there. Um, yes, 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 up to on Friday. We could do the wig party as well. Um, I love that. Anything? capsule wardrobe questions or suggestions. So that's sort of going along the lines of what isn't working. Like what I had you do the one challenge, I would suggest doing maybe five because there are ways to mix and match. And I always suggest, I say, it's like a, your favorite pieces. So when I go on a trip, I pack my favorite, favorite things. So then when I get there, I mix and match all of them. And there's not that much that can fit into a suitcase. So by keeping your favorite things, then you just get more creative. It actually gives you the ability to get more creative. Um, so those pieces, maybe as I'm talking, Janet, you like you could toss the romper. It's, it hasn't been worn. Is that part of your capsule wardrobe? Um, because that is just less decision making in the morning or whenever you're picking out your clothing for the capsule. Um, so there's not a certain number. I know it's usually 30. But you could just, whatever's not doing it for you, whatever's not super fun to put on, or you'd never know how to wear it, or it never looks right even doing the half tuck, I'd say it can go in donation. Um, yes, neckline, sometimes I will wear it over the top um, or underneath. If you've got an open shirt, sometimes it's just kind of nice to see the necklace. Uh, that's a good question, because there is one. where it's just kind of fun if it sits behind, underneath. Um, I would say in the tip of um, a piece to get would be just a long pendant necklace. You can get ready really fast, throw on a necklace and you're out the door. So that's something um, I love. I think short ones seem a little dressier. So if, if you're on the hunt for a necklace, versatility wise, something a little bit longer. Um, Rules for formal cocktail in terms of um, getting rid of, um, I think some people wonder of what's black tie formal, what's all of that mean. Um, I think you can do color. A lot of times people stick with black and navy, but I'm kind of a sucker for making it fun. And I think people now are bending the rules a little bit more um, with the formal dresses. It's, I still, I feel more comfortable going long, um, but if you've got a short cocktail dress for formal, I think you can make it you can make it dressy. Have your hair up and some earrings on, um, and it looks it looks great. Unless you a little further question, I want to make sure I got that one. Um, anything else, you guys? Thank you. I I can keep going. I know it's seven, but I'm happy. I feel like I've I've rambled.